Good morning. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I wanted to start with some handwriting. I thought we'd practice our alphabet first, our lowercase and then our uppercase letters. And then I have a poem that I'd like for us to write together. So if you'll get out your paper and your pencil, I'm going to write with my pen so you can see it. My lines are extremely narrow, but I think you'll be able to see my letters. So I'm going to start with lowercase a, b, c. And notice my pencil grip. Notice how since I'm right-handed, I have my paper slanted. Notice how I'm gripping the pencil. How my hand is turned. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and also notice that I have my boss hand, I'm holding the paper so the paper's not wiggly, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Here's our lowercase alphabet. Now let's write our uppercase. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, went a little bit below the line on that one, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay. So since this is National Poetry Month, we've been learning about different types of poems. And I brought this book from school, Being a Writer. And there are several selections in here. And I thought today that we could write lullaby. And there is an example of one of our types of figurative language in this poem. And I want you to see if you can guess what it is. Let me get this set up. You can tell I have this balanced on canvas. <laughs> there we go. The title is Lullaby. It's by Christine O'Connell George.
tree sighs softly. As the birds patter about, as the birds patter about, her heavy old branches. Her heavy old branches, the comma settling down Tucking their heads, tucking their heads beneath She waits until dusk. She waits until dusk has shadowed her leaves, has shadowed her leaves and when she's sure she's heard that last Soft, cheap. She rocks her birds to sleep. Lullaby by Christine O'Connell George. Tree sighs softly as the birds patter about her heavy old branches settling down, tucking their heads beneath their wings. She waits until dusk has shadowed her leaves, and when she's sure she's heard that last soft cheep, she rocks her birds to sleep. This right here does not need a period, so I'm going to draw that little line there. What type of figurative language is in this poem? If you guess personification, you would be right, because it has it, the tree sighs softly. Branches settling down. Tucking their heads beneath their wings. Well, that would be the birds, wouldn't it? Her heavy old branches settle down as the birds tuck their heads. Then she waits. Trees normally don't wait, do they? Until dusk has shadowed her leaves. And when
when she's sure, she's heard that last soft cheep. And so it's saying the tree is a she, so that's giving her human-like qualities. She rocks her birds to sleep, so normally trees don't rock. That's also giving her human-like qualities. I hope you have a wonderful morning writing this poem, and I will talk with you later. Bye.